Hey guys, in this SUP border review, we are looking at the Astron Cirrus Riverboard. The Cirrus has been designed to perform under pressure in white water or waves, adapting extremely well to different conditions. This is the ultimate two in one SUP for river or wave paddling. So the board is nine foot six inch long, it's 36 inches wide and six inches thick, and it weighs at around 10 kilograms when pumped up. It's got four slide fin boxes and a US center fin in the middle and retails at about £629. The board includes Astron's signature double chamber construction, offering additional stiffness to the board when on the water. So the SUP package includes the Cirrus iSUP, a three-piece paddle, a coiled leash, double action pump, as well as fins, the bag and the repair kit. The board itself, with a 36 inch width and wide tail, the board is a very, very stable overall. It also has a relatively flat rocker line. The board comes with a padded centre handle, however due to its width it can be quite difficult to carry comfortably, especially if you don't have long arms. It does also come with two side handles towards the front of the board, which help with lifting the board out of the water easily, as well as a large back handle, which also doubles as a paddle holder. Although this board doesn't come with bungees set up on the front, it does have the D-rings in place so you can add a bungee system after purchase. The Astron bag is fairly basic, but does come with a padded shoulder straps and is spacious enough to accommodate all the gear that comes in the package. The centre fin is an Astron US fin box and the outer fins are 4.5 inch push fin fins. The leash supplied with this board is an ankle leash, which is less than ideal for use on white water. So you would need to purchase a quick release belt before taking this out on the river. This SUP package also comes with one of Astron Style 2.0 three-piece paddles, which fits comfortably in the supplied bag. It's an aluminium paddle with a plastic basic blade shape. This board package also comes with a standard double action pump with inflation and deflation hose attachments. So how easy is it to set this board up? It is a little bit more time consuming than a normal board due to the dual chamber system. So you need to start off by pumping the rectangular chamber in the middle of the board up to a pressure of around 18 PSI and then finish off pumping the outer chamber. So what's this board like on the water? The deck pad of the Cirrus is really, really grippy and has raised edges which help you find the edge of the board with your feet whilst you're out paddling. Whilst this is really, really handy when you're edging the board, they are quite pronounced and quite solid, which does mean you can generate quite a bruise if you do land on them. Similar to other white water boards on the market, this comes with a stump box at the back, enabling you to find the back of the board without falling off whilst you're breaking in and out of eddies and surfing. The dual chamber system on this board and added stiffness really helps when you're driving through river features as the board wants to quickly pop up to the surface. However, due to the width, I did find it quite hard to pick up speed, but once it got moving, it held its speed really well. With all five fins in, this board tracks really nicely, and due to the wide variety of options for fin setups, as paddlers get more confident with their forward paddling skills, you can remove fins, helping you improve other areas of your paddling. As you do start to remove fins from this board, it becomes easier and easier to turn, especially if you become confident moving to the back of the board. However, with the weight and width of this board, it can sometimes take a lot of power to get the board turning downstream when you're in the flow. Given the weight and flatter nose rocker of this board, I didn't find it ideal for surfing and I found I often lost the nose of the board in the wave. However, once you get it on a, on a longer wave, the extra stability it had enabled me to move around on the board with ease, helping to keep it on that wave. The dual chamber on this board and added stiffness it provides really, really helps when you're crossing the river, especially when you're breaking in and out of eddies. When you edge this board, you mainly edge it on the outside chamber, meaning you still have a considerable amount of stability on the internal chamber, giving you a little bit of leeway if you under or over edge. And then although you will notice that it wasn't quite right, more often than not, you'll stay on the board, whereas on other boards, you would have found yourself straight in the water. When you finish on the water and you get this board rolled up correctly, it fits in the bag really, really well with plenty of space for all the additional accessories. However, it did take me a few times to get the roll right. This board is really good value for money, especially for those newer to the sport. However, you will need to purchase a quick release belt prior to getting out on the water. You may also find that you need to upgrade the paddles shortly after starting out on your white water sup journey. However, it is a really good paddle to get you started. So the cons of this board for me are the width and the thickness. It makes it quite hard to carry long distances and the large tail width and volume at the back of the board can make it hard to sink the tail when turning. It is a fairly heavy board and getting it up to speed was hard. However, it did hold its speed well once it was there. 
So for me, the pros of this board is the wide overall shape and that dual chamber construction. It makes this board super stable and forgiving, which is gonna be ideal for new paddlers starting out on their whitewater journey. It also drives through waves and stoppers really nicely, pushing up to the surface quickly, so it's gonna help paddlers progress. Overall, it's a really well-priced package that feels stable and stiff, and it includes everything you're gonna to need to get into white water, apart from that quick release belt, which you'll have to buy separately. This board is perfect for beginner and intermediate paddlers up to around 125 kilos, who are after a really stable all-round board that's gonna help them improve in all areas of their white water sup paddling. Smaller, lighter paddlers may find it harder to turn and move around on the board, so it might be better suited to a narrower, lower volume board. The Cirrus is also going to make a really good entry-level river surf up for heavier riders. Mm -hmm.